Uh, hello, hello, guys. Uh, it's Bongi here. Um, anyway, I have the schematic here. Hope you can see the schematic. I want to explain uh, why we use the schematic and why you need a schematic as well and why you should get used to schematic and, and most important, how do you use the schematic to fix or to repair a dead uh, laptop okay uh, the first thing that you need uh, to understand when you are dealing with that uh, laptop you need to be able to read uh, the schematic okay and what is a schematic first of all uh, schematic it's a diagram okay it's more like a treasure uh, let's say maybe you're looking for money or you're looking for a location it's more like a map to give you uh, the answer okay because uh what can i say a laptop or a motherboard it's got like a thousand components okay and most of them they're all the same some are unique but again it's a bunch of uh, different components doing different jobs so now how do you tell and how do you know what exactly the component does uh you go through the schematic schematic will tell you exactly uh what exactly does that uh, component does or to on the board to give you all the answers okay even if you are repairing a board but you are missing some power rail somewhere somewhere you will know exactly where to trace the power if you do have a um, schematic okay the schematic will guide you it will help you to give you a proper answer to diagnose the board uh, let's go ahead uh, let's go ahead let's see let's open the schematic okay um, okay this is a schematic uh, this is a chip anyway let me just uh, explain some few things this is a chip okay so all the chips they're operating like you see or you or your p okay this is a chip you can tell by a code you need to understand the codes the way the code of the schematic okay let's come here let's zoom in again This is QCA Q6B Q66A Q66B. Okay, these are transistors. Q stands for a transistor, it can be a MOSFET, it can be any type of a transistor, but it is a switch, it is a transistor. All right, and C stands for capacitors, and R stands for resistors, and you can see. Even the sign here, the zigzag, it's a, a resistor. And again, there's a code here uh, saying RC, it's a, a resistor. And I'm telling you 10K, it's a value of a, a resistor. Okay, here, let's come to here, let's come here to Q666A, the transistor. And this is the number and the type and everything. So. If you want any info regarding the transistor, let's say you are lost, you don't know what type of a transistor is this, you can't tell how how I mean how does it look. So you just come here and then you copy, you copy this name. This is the name of a transistor. You copy the name and then you go and paste it on your internet. Anyway, let's come here. This is D. This is the diode. As you can see it's D stands for diode. Alright. And these errors, you see these errors says the, this is coming from the ec meaning it's coming from the startup chip it's going where it's going on this transistor you see these errors are telling you okay i i believe here we are near the pch or oh yeah 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 so here it's near the startup chip okay hope you can see and this is a cpu core the power it's a power uh, that supplies uh, the CPU. It's called the CPU core. 
or VCC core uh, what else okay this is a chip let's zoom in again you see it's a chip okay I hope you can see Q it's a transistor anyway this is all uh, simple J it's a jumper those are the uh, silver jumper on the board then U it's a chip U are all chip this is, this is a transistor a MOSFET all right this is a chip anyway guys reading the schematic is very very easy I won't waste so much time explaining the, the MOSFET but it's very very simple it's very very easy uh, what else can I explain here I'm just picking up uh, uh, things randomly okay let's come here okay this is LCD connection all right this is U5 it's a chip Anyway, I think I did uh, explain some few things. These are all chips. And uh, these two chips here, this one is generates 3.3 volt always, and this one is generates 5.5 point, uh, 5 point, okay, 5 point, uh, okay, 5, 5 volts actually. Ish. Ish. Let me zoom in or I'll show you something. Okay, PL stands for a coil, and you can see a sign for a coil as well. PU, it's a power chip. As long as there's U there, it's a chip. Alright. What else should I... Okay, this... Uh, I did explain the whole process here. Anyway, guys, this is it. Uh, we'll go deep and more and more just watch my videos i'll teach you step by step everything yeah but for now i just want to show you uh, the basic and the schematic it's just a simple thing i want like to use very very simple just need to understand the basic things about the schematic understand pu what does pu stand for on the board pu Alright, uh, after the Q, Q I told you the transistors, uh, R for resistors, D for diode, C for capacitors, uh, yeah, all, it's just it's simple, J is for jumper, it, it, it's simple in a way, I won't lie to you guys, it's very, very, it's very, very, very simple. I'm just gonna stop it right there but I know you you learn and you are learning just keep it up guys thank you so much and don't forget to press the subscribe button